and girls, this is the third and final digital citizenship lesson for first grade called Internet Traffic Light. How do you stay safe when visiting a website or app? When you play outside without a grown-up, what are some of the things you do to stay safe? Pause the video right now to take a moment to discuss that question with a family member. If you came up with answers like, do not talk to strangers, make sure you're always following the rules, and know when to get help, then those are three great rules. Today we are going to talk about how staying safe on the internet, the apps and websites you visit, is similar to staying safe in your neighborhood. We're going to start by watching a fun video of the digital citizens showing us how they stay safe online. We go online to find new things to do and see. The internet traffic light shows where we need to be. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow, being safe is a must. Red means stop, ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow. Being safe is a must. Red means stop. Ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. The digital citizen stayed safe online by using the internet traffic light. As you know, a regular traffic light tells people who are driving cars when they need to go slow down or stop. In the same way, the internet traffic light tells people who are visiting websites and apps whether or not it's okay to go somewhere. What is a green website or app? A green website or app is a site or app that is just right for you. It's fun with things for you to do or see and it has appropriate words. What are some green websites or apps that you visit? How do you know they're safe and just right for you? Pause the video for a moment to discuss with a family member. Did you come up with things like Lexia or um, any app or website that your teacher asks you to go on? Those are safe because they are meant just for kids and they were places that your teacher told you is safe to visit. What is a yellow website or app? A yellow website is a site that you're not sure is just right for you. The words are hard for you to read. It's one that asks for information such as who you are and where you live or what your phone number is. And a yellow website is a site that has you fill out a form. What is a red website or app? A red website or app has everything that a yellow website has. It is a site that is clearly not just right for you. It's a place you may have gone by accident. It's filled with pictures, words, and videos that are for older kids and adults. It's a place where you are allowed to chat with people that you don't know. Have you ever been to a, we a red website or app? How did you know it was not right for you? Take a moment to pause and discuss that with a family member. Now we're going to learn the same poem that the digital citizens use to remember how to stay safe online. We go online to find new things to do and see. The internet traffic light shows where we need to be. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow, being safe is a must. Red means stop, ask if it's okay, trust your gut to go the right way. Boys and girls, right now I would like you to pause the video. What you are going to need to do is to come up with an object that is green, yellow, and red. If you would like, you can color a circle green, color another circle yellow, and color another circle red. When you have your three objects or shape colors, then go ahead and press play.
we are going to be playing the traffic light game. I am going to be giving you different examples of websites, and I need you to keep track of your points. I know in first grade you're learning how to use tally marks. So if you get a correct answer that was a green website, you can give yourself two tally marks. If it's a yellow website and you have the correct answer, you can give yourself one point. There aren't any points for landing on a red website, but hopefully you're going to guess it correctly. All right, the first one. You went to the games o -Rama website by accident and a stranger sent you a message asking for your name and age. Hold up the color for the website that you think that is. Is it green? Is it yellow? Or is it red? That is correct. It is a red website. The second one. The wacky bunny site is funny. Even your grandma thinks it's just right for you. Hold up the color for that website. Did you hold up green? Green is correct. You can give yourself two tally points. The third one. You are searching for pictures of hearts, but you come across a site that makes you feel uncomfortable. Is that a green, a yellow, or a red website? Did you hold up red? That is correct. Number four, you visit a site about our solar system, the, but the words are hard for you to read. Is that a green, a yellow, or a red website? If you held up yellow, that is correct. That website might be okay for you, but because the words are hard to read, you need to pause and probably ask for help. Number five, a site for your favorite TV show has fun things for kids your age to do. Is that green, yellow, or red? If you held up green, that is correct. Go ahead and give yourself two points. Number six, there's a kid's sports site you visited that allows people to chat with each other. Is that green, yellow, or red? If you pick yellow, you are correct. Because it's a kid's sports site, it might be okay for you, but you need to pause when you get to a spot where it's asking you to chat with others. Number seven, you're on a game site where a screen pops up and asks for your email address. Is that green, yellow, or red? Again, if you said yellow, you got it correct. A game site is usually a safe place for you to be, but if it's asking for your email address, you need to talk to a trusted adult. Number eight, your teacher tells you to visit a site where you can learn things about giraffes. Is that a green, a yellow, or a red website? If you said green, you are correct. Because it is a website for you to learn things and your teacher asks you to visit, it's going to be a safe place to be. And the final one, you watch a funny video but notice the videos next to it look like they are for big kids. Would that be yellow? green, or red. If you said yellow, you are correct. A lot of things have funny videos, but that doesn't always mean that they're the most appropriate for students. Today we talked about how to stay safe online and what kinds of websites and apps are just right or not right for you. Now I'd like you to take a moment to reflect on what you've learned. If you would like, you could draw a picture to show what you would do if you accidentally went to a not right website, and you can write about what you should do if you accidentally get to a not right website. So boys and girls, this is the end of our Digital Citizenship Lesson 3 called Internet Traffic Light.